guys welcome back to my channel so the first thing that i like to use is some vitamin e ointment because it's really really good in the winter because it's cold outside and this prevents my skin from cracking and drying out under my makeup i use a little bit because it's very thick you do not want to be too greasy or oily so yeah remember a little bit goes a long way this is also a drugstore product as well so i think it was sells for like 15 dollars yeah rub her in I also like to rub my skin in the opposite direction, as you guys can see, like upward. It helps prevent wrinkles and stay young forever. Okay, <laughs> period. <laughs> now I'm going in with my airspun powder. Everyone uses airspun. Airspun is that girl. I use this on my T-zone areas just because I don't want to be oily throughout the day. And you want your makeup to look matte. Well, that's my preference, but if you want to matte makeup as well, this technique is really fire. I think, yeah, Jackie, I never put me going to this. And just kept using it ever since. I really, really love doing this. Super sleek. Now, my brows. So, my brows are nothing fancy. I done did my brows on camera a thousand and one times. I just get my spoolie, brush her out. Then I use a regular old Boost Plaster um, eyebrow pencil. Gets the job done every single time. And yeah. Just keep watching. I just get my brows done. But y'all, as you guys can see, I was over it, y'all. I was over it. <laughs> So now I'm back with my eyebrows done. I'm going with my foundation. This is the Black Opal Foundation in the shade Carib. So, yeah. This is my first time trying this foundation, y'all. And I'm not a foundation tester or trying new things. I hate that. I don't know why. But I was skeptical. But this really came out really bomb. It seemed a little too red for me at first. But we're going to get here together. Okay? We're going to get here together. <laughs> but, yeah just rubbing that in this sponge is from elf i believe don't remember what kind of sponge it is but you can find it look for the color <laughs> so i'm just blending her in blending her in the color still got me looking a little iffy but period now i'm going with my elf concealer in the shade deep olive this is also a drugstore product everybody knows elf is great for their price and their quality now this foundation i mean concealer is very much thick and full coverage so be careful with it i still feel like i put on a little bit too much but we're gonna keep rolling with it um and yeah elf is a cute girl regular regular i love to do this so my cheekbones can you know pop a little bit more and i put a little bit on my forehead because i'm not really into concealer on my lace and oh I, I just hate that but yeah now I'm blending her in with the camo sponge from e.l.f. This sponge goes really well with the concealer. I think they were made for each other. And honestly, I don't know. I like more control in my sponge. And these baby sponges don't be working out for me. But for the most part, it did blend out really nice. And I will get another one. But a thicker sponge is way more my preference. So yeah. Keep blending her out. Now contour time. And I love contour. It's my favorite part of makeup. I love contouring my nose, like, <laughs> one of my faves. Um, this is the Fenty stick in the shade Coco Nori. So, you know, Fenty always get the girls together really nice. The, but the pigmentation on this contour stick is just so elite. Like, I would never go back to nothing else. Blending her in. I really need some new brushes, y'all. Because this brush, I have for a cool little minute. But as you guys can see, it's blending out pretty evenly and smooth i love a smooth base so that's really like my favorite part of makeup like i could keep the shadows and the looks a smooth base really makes me feel like that girl so yeah now we're all blending in i'm going with my black radiance blue setting powder in the shade coco kisses and this powder now this part is too dark for me y'all i like my under eyes to be a little bit brighter and i don't know what i was thinking but you know what? We're going to get hair together. But I love the consistency of this powder and the coverage. It's really nice. So to make it a little brighter, I just added the translucent air spun powder on top of it just to see what that would do. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I just think I need a new powder. I'm really going to try the Huda Beauty powder because it looked like it's worth it. But this one is real cute, girl, for now, especially for a drugstore item. Yeah. So now I'm back with my lashes. I'm just going to brush this off. I think I had this baking for about 15 minutes. <laughs> um, I usually like to bake for 7 and 12. But, y'all, my lashes just give me a problem. <laughs> so, yeah. I just keep brushing her off. 
And this is one of my most satisfying parts of makeup as well, too. I love brushing off the powder. Feeling like, who is that girl? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I look pretty heavy-handed, y'all, but I promise I'm being very gentle. And if you're a beginner, you basically just set everywhere you put um, highlight. So, yeah. Yeah, I hate voiceovers so much, y'all. <laughs> Now I'm just doing my bronzer. My Fenty bronzer is just like elite. One more time again. I love her. Um, oh, I think a lot. The bronzer is in the shade Coco Nordi, And the contour stick is in the shade Espresso. My bad, y'all. But yeah. Put that all over. I love how even makes my skin tone be. Now I'm just doing my lower lashes because a lot of y'all be having 25 mm's with no lower lashes like girl that's not cute okay so don't forget to align your um your waterline if you like to do that but also um oh girl look at my eyebrow <laughs> but remember to um do your lower lashes as well too we're gonna get here together don't worry yeah now we're gonna go with blush i'm so dumb i didn't show you how to blush but this is in the shade um warm berry it's from black radiance as well this blush is really nice i literally just got into blush and i don't know what i was doing before that but blush really makes your makeup look so good like why was i asleep it makes me look human again like i don't know i really like this blush for darker skin tones super nice but yeah i try not to put too much <laughs> now let's get into my lips I have a whole like clear gloss lip routine up on my channel. I'm gonna link it for you guys, but I did this because I'm trying out a new gloss method. That's how much I think. So I'm just lining my lips. I really like to define my cupid's bow because it's not really as sharp as it could be. And don't mind my, my lace, y'all. Y'all in my business, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, back to my lips. I'm just lining it. Um, I did overline a little bit, nothing too crazy. You feel me? I'm not trying to give Kylie Jenner, but I still want that oomph, you know? So, yeah. And this just looks so good on black women, y'all. Like, so good. Here we are. Now I'm using this e.l.f. lipstick. I'm going to link the shade right now. It's not coming to me, but this lipstick is so fire. If y'all know me, like, I hate color. I really do. But this one helps. Now I'm going to those Black Radiance lip, lip Gloss in the shade Cashmere, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, in the shade Cashmere. This gloss is it. I spent like $5 on her and I was skeptical. I'm like, oh, $5 on this little one? Mm -mm. But this was a really, really nice color. Y'all know I'm scared of color. Y'all know that. But this is really beautiful. I love it so much. And it's a, um, it's a sheer gloss as well. So it's not super, super thick. Love it. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, on top of it, I'm just going to add a clear gloss because y'all know I'm a hood bitch. I have to have my clear gloss. <laughs> it's just a hit different when you have your lips just shining. I love a thick gloss. Like, when I'm talking, focus on my lips. Just focus on her, you know? Love it. Now, this is the end of the look. Thank you guys for watching. You for me, feeling herself, feeling herself. Cute girl, y'all know. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.